hello welcome to tech shamit in this session we will learn about do opcode and we'll see how we can iterate the do loop in fix format so here we have declared one variable that is count of size 4 numeric type okay and then on line number 14 i am assigning some value to this count variable and on the basis of this count variable we will iterate the loop so i want to clear one thing like loop is something uh, through which we can iterate or through which we can repeat the number of lines uh, number of lines of code as many as uh, as many number of times we want to repeat it okay so like in previous session you have uh, also we have also discuss about the do while loop do until loop similarly we have do in this rpc loop so how how we will use this do up code for looping so firstly you have to write c here for c spec then take a four now in factor 1 you have to specify the starting index value okay so as we have uh, just seen like in count variable we have assigned one so i want to start my looping from one so my set starting index uh, will be one so that's why i have specified the count here now in factor 2 i'm assigning the ending of my loop so i want to terminate my loop after fifth index so i have uh, set my ending index here okay and in result we will put uh, the current index value so my current index value will be count okay so let's see then <clears throat> we are just displaying the count variable and we are setting uh, we are doing the end do here so what it will do it will firstly start with 1 then display the value then increment by 1 then 2 then display the value 3 4 5 once it become 5 it will directly came out of this loop and set the set on the lr indicator so let's see so as per this looping we should get the five values 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see 1 2 3 4 5 so that which is correct because we we are just uh, displaying the count value in a loop of five okay so that's why this uh, command is executed five times in a loop okay so that's how we utilize this do opcode in an rpc ally so if you want to iterate something uh, in a loop then you can utilize this do opcode as well like we have other option also like do while do until right so but if needed then you can utilize this do do as well so yeah so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will learn about few more things so thank you for watching texture math